The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 11th of April. We're looking at, uh, here's the, the uh, E, e mini look at Meta Peak E, right at 9, about 910. In the 52.22 area, and it's trading right now at 51.79. It went right through the 200 period moving average support, the five minute made a peak C1, C2 top, and that uh, <clears throat> gave you the same signal. But we only got in the last five minutes, we got the nine period moving average crossing negative, and that's gone through the uh, support level of 52.03, I believe it is. 50, I believe it's 50, yeah, 52.03. And the 10-minute uh, chart is pulled back very sharply. So as I see it, let me just give you a rundown. Let me go through it right here. So I'm going to use this particular chart just at first, and then we'll, we'll go to all the, the indicators. So look, the the Dow has gone sharply below the nine-period moving average, and the uh, price now is down 162 at 38,298. Uh, actually, it's better just to go to this one on the right because it's just a little clearer. So the gray line is the Dow current price. And you can see it went negative and it's pulling back quite sharply now. It's been one of the weaker indices. Now it's down 171. And uh, okay, well, I should just say for clarification, we are short. We've got long-term longs, but we do have short position. Looking at the S&P, now this is going to look, I'll start with the SPY. So the SPY was holding so well. And then finally... Uh, this morning, and this, this is now a daily chart, so I can only talk to you right now. It could change by the end of the day. It could go back to green. But right now, the nine period moving average for the very first time since the November the 6th, was this the one? The, the November the 2nd, cross positive. Can you believe it? It's f f uh, so that was November. So it's all of November, December, January, February, March. And almost half of April. So that's almost six months, five, over five months. And today we got that, uh, I call it the indicator of last resort. It's just a fantastic indicator. But you, you, know, you really have to use it very diligently. And as I said, this could change by the end of the day. It could go back to uh, green. So this is, says for the very first time, the SPY has hinted that it's starting to weaken. And if it closes, with the nine period moving under the 14, I have to call it a sell signal. I not yet a sell mode, a sell signal. Look at the QQQ. It's already done that. So, and it's still holding very nicely. So that's what I'm saying that you've got to know how to use this because sometimes when there's a very narrow distance between the nine and 14, either up or down, it's very easy to flip the other way. So it's how you use that in this particular instance. Um, the QQQ, that's the index 100 trading vehicle, uh, is trading at um, 439.52, up a dollar 13. <clears throat> Not bad. IWM, yesterday went negative, pink on the nine period moving average. Look at this chart over here. This has been much choppy, and we know that because the Russell 2000 small caps, whew, it's been tough. So it's up, it's down 15 cents right now, 277. Looking at, uh, so let's, do I need to keep that? No, I don't need to keep these charts. I just wanted to show you, oh, I do. SMH is. SMH is just holding so well. It's up $1.36 at 223.44. Uh, NVIDIA, probably having a little bounce. Yep, up eight today. Um, not bad action, but it is pink, and nine period moving average is. Uh, uh, indicating that it's starting to see a lot of resistance. Uh, let's look at um, the VIX index just for the moment. The VIX index had a big spike up. So this is peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. But in the Chapman Wave methodology, this is the only indicator that I don't use uh, the Chapman Wave notations and because uh, they can fail. This is an emotional thing. So you can get a single leg A up and then it fails, or you could get a B, and then it fails and makes a lower low. But in this case, it's pulled back from the high of the day of 1761. Probably I need to go over here. I've got a little ring, so I'm going to go right there. Let me just do this for the moment. VIX index, there we go. The VIX index, yeah, leg D, 
Um, and I'll be back in a moment because I'm going to go straight to, i got a little ping. Let's hear that if that's the ping of, we've got Garrow in Newport Beach. Garrow, how are you? Thank you, sir. How about you, Mr. Bezos? I'm well, thank you. So you'd like to look at? Uh, today, uh, I want to look at a pen, and I need your uh, idea. Uh, and it's something that I've been looking at it for a very long time on the daily chart, the three years daily chart, and the three years weekly chart. And that really puzzles me so much, and I cannot find a solution. So I said, let me ask the master. If you look at the three years pen on the daily chart, you see that this stock was $105 in 1921. Since then, it's not going above its 200-day moving average, both the, the simple and the exponential. And every time it keeps hitting that 200, going lower and low, and again it hits the 200, goes lower and low. I, the, the earnings are not bad. Uh, not very good, excellent, but it's not bad either. But it's not going at all. It's not, uh, it's not pulling up that 200 day. I want to see if you have any cause, for, any cause that why it's not going up and when this is going to start to act properly. So your question really is in the look back period. Why has the 200 period moving average not responded and why has the price not gone above it? But I just wanted to tell you right now, you know, I talk about round numbers, how important it is, like an NVIDIA made round number, all time high. Well, Penn, and uh, this is the entertainment company, right? Penn Entertainment. Um, trading at 16.78 right now, down 15 cents. It made 142.00 all time high round number. Uh, I think it was March. I'm just going to check. Yeah, it was March of 2021. So now, if you if you look at my chart, you'll see something really fascinating. Um, I haven't got on my monthly chart. I don't have the 200 period moving average. There's no reason why I don't put it in right now. So let me just go here. Indicator. I'll go 200. So this is going to be the uh, moving averages. And the moving average I, I use is always moving averages. So what do I want if I can see it from here? I want the exponential. Why am I having trouble finding it? MA, 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 let me go. Okay, here we go. Moving average, one line, two line, adaptive, everything but my exponential. There it is. Okay, so I click and click again, and we've got it. And wait a minute. Where's my 200 period moving average? <laughs> Let me find this. Okay, go. To, it, it didn't want to show. I'm so, okay. It says on, um, but wait a minute. Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, I, I clicked it, but it didn't show. I'm going to do it again because I really would like to look at it because it's a it's a good question. But actually, the the shorter term, the shorter term indicators. Uh, there we go. The shorter term indicators are the ones that are giving us even better. Oh, yeah, we got, we've got a break coming up, so I'll be able to get everything organized. Okay, I pressed okay. Second time. Huh, interesting. All right, I'm going to find out what's going on. As soon as we return, the Dow's 175, we're on with Garo from Newport Beach, and we're looking at Penn, P E N N. Penn Entertainment. Um, If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, just to, to recap, we're on with uh, uh, Garo and Newport Beach. We're looking at Pan P E N, and I just want you to update because I had a question: well, exactly what's the stance uh, newsletter? Yeah, we are short the Dow. Uh, we've started a short, and other, other other another short in the semiconductors. Uh, we are looking at the SMHs, which are the last. Uh, this is the last vehicle to turn down to con to to really assure us and we have to wait for the end of the day to see if that happens to assure us that we are now in a sell signal but the the overall market all the indices on a daily basis are in cells at least sell signals some in sell modes and that's the way it is right now uh, and we're on with gara so gara i put the 200 period moving average the reason why i didn't go it didn't show is i i forgot to change the nine to 200 so i'd even ignore that because that's a long that's that's a that's a 200 period, 200 months of look back. What's really important here is if you look at my chart, this is pyramid uh, uh, formation that goes from the low of uh, back in March of 2020. It makes a low of 375. And believe me, this is quite something. I remember at the time when this was happening, 375 goes all the way to that 142 round number high. Those round number highs are deadly. So in March of a, a year later, <clears throat> And then it comes down. But you can see that it didn't come down in the same momentum and vertical aspect. I call it the Eiffel Tower. It looked like the Eiffel Tower when it hit 142 and started to pull back to the 60s. And then it stalled out a bounce. It had a dreaded H bounce that failed. Then a whole bunch of others. And now it's making lower lows and lower highs. But it is showing very little strength to the upside. But it is showing... Uh, weakness to the downside. So the monthly chart says, well, unless something really special happens and it has to start in the shorter term, which would be the daily and then the weekly chart, this is this is really not a good looking monthly chart. But to answer your question about the 200 period moving average, I would say the 200 period moving average up at about th uh, 27 right now, that, that, that doesn't even come into the picture. I've been looking at the nine period moving average at 16.69. And even that, uh, so not 1669, yeah, just a little bit above. It's at 17 something. That's the first one that I've been looking at. But as far as the patterns are concerned, the pattern that I call the dreaded H, where it fails and makes a lower low, 
uh, after that arch formation. This is the pattern that looks, it starts off like a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. But in the big picture right now, the daily chart is very much showing that it's got this arch formation, that dreaded H pattern, and to make it as simple as possible, if there are two, let's make it three closes, below the low that was made on the 23rd of February of 16.46, that just says the upside now is very limited until it triggers a new very strong buy signal that gets upgraded. So I, this is it's just, at best, it's stuck between 1750 and 1600, but at worst, it starts to go down to the 15s over the next three or four days. Um, I don't know if that helps you, but that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Okay, what, what is the cause that this is not going up? <clears throat> what is cause that? Why is it's three years? Three years that is keep going lower and lower and lower and lower. I mean, w w what is the reason for that? You're asking about the moving average, not the price, right? The moving average. No, not the price. The price. Oh, the, pr no, the, price the price went is, from 100, because, 100 and change, not right. $16. Right. And that's it's because never, it's never gone it, up at all. Yeah. That's because its first cousin is the UNG, United States Natural Gas, which is looks exact, which is looking, let me just go there, UNG. Um, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's the same pattern in the monthly chart, except this one keeps making lower lows and lower lows. Yeah, you know what happens? There is, a, there, when there is an, in the gas situation, it's just an influx of gas. There's just too much gas. In Penn, there's just too much. The move to the upside from 375 to 142, as I can, as I interpret it right now, was built on nothing. It was just built on, it might have been a momentum stock, a meme stock, or something like that. Now you're seeing the real evidence, and this is just a horrible come. I mean, I don't know if I should say that on air, but I'll say it. The chart itself indicates that Penn Entertainment has done everything wrong that they could, and that's really why it just keeps going down. No, no, it's making lower lows and lower highs. When eventually it fills the gap in the 21s, you can say, hey, I think they finally started getting the business, financial part of the business organized. But right now, it just looks terrible. So I can, my answer to you is that there was just too much buying for a, for a whole year. And that buying um, was on, based on no, uh, no real structure, infrastructure of significance that made it a profitable company. And that's just the way it is. And that just says now the real evidence is that it makes lower lows and lower highs until they can turn that around. It might. This could even go BK. This could go bankrupt the way it's looking. Oh, really? I, I'm just saying really? from the chart. Well, yeah, the chart. The chart I says. See. I, see. I see. I see. So I'd, I'd be. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be buying this. Let's put it that way. I, I would look at the short side, but I wouldn't be buying it until it makes higher highs and higher lows, and the weekly chart can make a leg uh, above nineteen dollars. That would be, say to me, who? Oh, Maybe now it's getting somewhere, but even that whole 21 area with the gap, uh, no, I don't like this. So I, I don't know if that helps you, but that's my assessment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it for your time and listening to me. Thank you, sir. That was. Thank really you good. for calling. Thank always, you. always appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, uh, folks, let me just do this. Uh, did I miss something over here? Let me just have a look because sometimes there's always great information in. The den, wow, stock was about eight dollars when I posted. Now eighteen. Oh, that's a different. Oh, rent. Oh, good, good eye. Uh, den in the den. Rent. Oh, that's a completely different chart. Now look at that. It's up 150. It's only up 156 percent today. It's up 11 at 19.20. Wow. I don't know. Well, obviously they must do something with rentals. Uh, rent something. Rent, rent, rent what, 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 what am I reading there? Uh, oh, this is amazing. Right to the 200 period moving average, which was just, uh, it wasn't even in sight at one point. Um, oh, rent the runway, Inc., Class A. All right, talk about runway. This is a runaway. All right, let's just get back to our story. So, a bunch of, oh, another ping, another ping says, 
We've got Walter in Kennesaw, uh, Georgia. Hi, Walter. How are you? Doing well, Basil. How about yourself? No I'm doing no well. Talk. Yeah, and uh, this is the this is where my daughter teaches as a professor at uh, Kennesaw. Yeah. So uh, you Growing would like school, to. Yes. You would like to look at XBT? XBT, it, no, is it XBT? No, that's not right. BTX, no. Yeah, Bitcoin. BTX. Oh, wait. Oh, Bitcoin uh, itself. Bit so you want the futures or um, I'll, I'll look at the futures. So, oh, wow, that was a quick break. We've got a break coming up, folks. Uh, Bitcoin right now. And I, I've been looking at this and saying, I think it's stalling up here. It's down 245 at 70,165. We'll talk about it when we get back. We go Walter in Kennesaw, Georgia. We'll be right back with the Bitcoin Futures. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Hi, folks. We are back, and uh, we're on with Walter. We're looking at the um, Bitcoin trading down 300 right now at 70,110. Um, so I've been co considering that this is in a sideways consolidation. But, Walter, if you're there, and I'd like to know, do you have a position? Uh, yes. Okay. Are, are you long? Uh, yes. And are you along the futures or are you along the GBTC, the Bitcoin Investment Trust? Yeah, not another another ETF, not not that one. But yes, okay. Long, long All right. So this one. is got this is kind of your benchmark that you're looking at. So okay. So what I've been looking at is the way it went to the. I'll just go for the moment to, for Bitcoin GBTC because everybody can get that. Some people can't get the futures, but this is the same chart and it's the the investment trust. Um. I'll go backwards. The monthly chart is in leg C, and that suggests that there should be higher prices to come. That's in 2024. The, the weekly chart went to a peak, G slash C after an instant restart, and those G slash Cs invariably, not always, but so many times over the last year or so that I've been making a note of the instant restart going to a G that you've got to think of it as a G slash C, that there could be just a momentary spike to a D, and that's where you've got to be careful, right? So um, the high that was made is 65.61, we're at 62.39, and I don't have to tell you in Bitcoin, a three-point move in, in, in the, uh, the uh, or 300-point move uh, is very easy to, 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 it just happens in seconds. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, as I've been talking about it, that nine period, now I'm going to go to the chart here, which it just explains it so nicely. So if I go to GBTC um, in the, in my chart that I'll just move this away because it's much more important that I've got these two indicators right here. So the nine period moving air, which is chart right here, you can see that it started to stall, but it hasn't broken down. It's like a rectangle formation trying to work its way towards the upper part of the rectangle. And that nine period moving average is still positive. So I've been looking at this and I've been, I, I discussed this yesterday. And what I said was, there is such a difference between the different, for instance, ETHE, which is is Ethereum. Um, this is trading at 25. It made a high uh, recently, not the all-time high. The all-time high was back in, I think it was November of 2022, up in the 45, 46 area. And then it pulled back really sharply to, the, to about five, under five. And then it ran up again, and this last run up was just under 36. It was 35, maybe 80, 35 in the 35 area. So there's a big difference between that. There's a big difference between coin, which is closer to the GBTC, but now it's starting to show a little bit more weakness than, than the uh, GBT, uh, that's the Bitcoin Investment Trust. So each one is doing something a little differently, but most importantly, let's go now just because I'm doing technical analysis and we'll be as current as possible because Bitcoin trades overnight, whereas the GBTC doesn't trade much at, at night. This is telling me that we're starting to store that it could possibly break above 75,185. And I, I don't think it'll go very much above it, maybe 75,200, maybe 300. But then it should come back. And at that point, if the weekly chart uh, is still showing strength, it's going to say we could still continue in the rectangle sideways formation. So I would just say to you, as I'm looking at it now, it's much more important for me to say, and I'm going to go back to the GBTC, because as I say, I'm, this is a public show, so people probably don't get futures. Most people can get the GBTC. If the GBTC trading at 62.33, in the next, today's Thursday, by Tuesday, if it's even started to touch on the downside. So I'm saying to you, let's look at what the downside would be rather than the upside, because I still see enough strength for a, a bit of a pop to the upside. If it starts to trade as a 62, under 59.20, let's call it 59, any day going into Tuesday, even next Wednesday, even if it's made the new recovery high, or in this case, it'll be an all-time high, I'm, I'm saying to you that that's key for me. Uh, if I start to see it making, for instance, right now it's making higher highs and higher lows, but within the rectangle. 
And the rectangle says in a cup formation, it should try to get to a D. Well, it got to the leg D, a peak D the other day, which was under the 65, 61 area. Usually that's not a good sign. I like to see a breakout in leg C so that it really just takes out the former left side high, the lip on the left side. So I think it's kind of stuck. So I think that the uh, Bit Bitcoin area is kind of stuck right now. There's enough strength there, maybe one pop to the upside. But what I'm really looking at is what would take it down. And I'm saying Bitcoin closing under 59 would say just at least short term, not the weekly charts are still fabulous. Short term, that's what I'd be looking at. If it was uh, something else, it would say it is, uh, people have asked me about Ethereum trading at 25.34. If it trades under 23.20, let's call it 23. That's a big problem. And on the upside, um, if a, something like an Ethereum can actually get to 28 by Wednesday of this coming week, that's very good action. So each one's doing something differently. There's a high level consolidation and high level consolidation, as we've seen based on those nine, uh, four, those nine and 14 period moving averages that have taken so long to turn down in some of the sectors, a rectangle formation can last a long time. Now, here's the other thing. The longer a rectangle it continues sideways, the greater the vulnerability when it's on the upside. So I'm talking about an upside consolidation. The longer the upside consolidation without a breakout to the upside makes it a lot more vulnerable for the downside. So Bitcoin itself, at any point in April, if it takes out uh, the 62,000 support, that's going to be a big problem, at least in the more intermediate term. I hope that helps you. It does, Basil. Yeah, thanks very much. One other comment for you is I don't yes. know if this is something that you might be able to cover in your uh, weekly overview for subscribers, which is just yep. go, briefly go over Bitcoin. Okay, I will do it, definitely do it. In fact, I'll make a note. If I, I, I thought I did it this past week. Maybe I forgot. But yes, absolutely. Bitcoin, I will do. Good, good, good comment. And I hope that helps you. Thank you very much for calling. And I always appreciate it, especially from a subscriber. So, here we want to go to, um, I have to take some tea just to get that throat. Throat lubricated. Okay, yeah, some other questions that I had. Um, let me just see if I can find them right now. I changed the monitors and whatever it is. Okay, so uh, FXI, this is China. China is holding very well. It too is making this kind of cup formation, cup and handle formation. Actually, not one of my favorite patterns, but at 24.59, it's trying to tackle the 200 period exponential moving average of 2509. It hasn't done that for a long time. It better hold 24 support. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So we're just watching that FXI. That's the iShares China Large Cap ETF. It's actually held quite nicely. I think that the low that was made back on the at 20.86 back in uh, January, um, I think that's significant to the extent that the nine period moving average in the weekly chart for the very first time since it broke down back in uh, August of last year, <clears throat> when the price was up in the 27s, and now it's down uh, at, at uh, 24, 40, 60. Um, I think this is significant in the sense that that low that was made at 20.86 might not be retested over the next few weeks if the support in the 23 to 2250 area it holds. All right, now let's go to a couple of things. A lot of people want to know about uh, the um, multinational, I believe, multinationals, uh, oils. Exxon made a new uh, all-time high this morning at 122.69, straining at 120.78. This is really good action. Uh, most importantly, what we're looking at is uh, the weekly chart is only in leg B and since it made a new high. This has to be considered a buy mode and should still go to a C and D. Uh, and what was the question here? COF? Oh, wait a minute. COF, that's... Oh. Uh, Capital One. Okay, so uh, Capital One. Oh, the, oh, so Exxon, I did that. Chevron, I'll get to. So now we're going to financials. COF is uh, Capital One financial trading at 138.43, down $1.51. Wow, this is one of the few that I haven't done. I had done a long time ago. So let me just do this real quickly. What are we doing for time? Yep, we good. Okay, here we go. So you look, you identify the lowest low bar. You put it in an up arrow. You can do that because it's not live. It's way back in 2023. April, March area, so it goes peak A, and you just count each successively peak. How, how simple can that be? A, B, C, D is where other things can happen. And what happens is it goes to a D. Then only put, look at the nine period moving average is still fantastically strong. So this has to be considered a continuation pattern with core an E. But it could be an E slash B, but I'm calling it an E for now. And the weekly and the monthly chart made an all-time high, which was much higher back in 2021. It went to 179, whoa, 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 177.95, 177.95. And um, that was only a peak A, a peak B, a peak C. Isn't that interesting? A, B, C. Oh, I really could call that a peak C1, C2 because it was so close. But uh, well, let's not do that. Let's just consider that this is new A, gray A, because the MACD wasn't good. Now the stochastic and everything is very strong. A, B, and there's another C. All right. Okay, so this is um, Capital One Financial pulling back quite sharply. Uh, let me just, for the moment, I'd like to look at MA. MasterCard made a peak C in the monthly chart, peak E in the weekly chart, and it had this big spike which went from A, B, C, 
a big D right there with a tiny little doji candle, no, a thin long doji candle. I'd like to see the price to see if there was a round number anywhere there. Uh, no, no, it goes to 400 and, oh, 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 Elizabeth, Elizabeth, 490, I mean, if ever, nobody's ever talked about, I've, I've looked at Commodity Magazine for 20 some, maybe 30, I don't know how long it is. Um, I've never seen anybody talk about round numbers like this. A round number, all time high at 490 and is trading now at 465. I mean, how important is it, right? At a peak D. So let's go to, so I think that you've got to be very careful. The reason why I'm saying be careful is I was, I was anticipating, we've got, we've got Bank of America. It's done very nice. We've taken some, uh, a little bits off, uh, keeping a core position, but it is starting to stall. And it played catch up. It did very nicely. It went to 38, 35, right into the 31s. And, and here it is at 36.18. If you look at the XLF, the XLF is pulled back from the 42.22 double top of 41.70, which was in January 2022. This is uh, double top, right? Peak G slash C in the uh, weekly chart, nine way over the 40. Everything looks good, but the, the, the daily chart has gone to a sell mode as we speak. First time that has crossed S. In other words, the nine period moving average has gone below the 14 period moving average. Got to be careful. But my thinking was completely wrong. I thought the KRE had the potential because it's got a Chapman wave restart. A restart says if you don't take out that original low, in this case, 4561, this is the S&P regional banking ETF, then there's something that I call the Chapman wave, instant, uh, Chapman wave restart. The restart says you can go to peak A and a B and then fail, or peak A, B, C, and then keep failing and failing and failing. But if you don't go to the D, you shouldn't come back and take out the 4567. But if you do, that negates any chance of it. Yeah, you have to start fresh. So today's low is 4623, very close, but it hasn't taken it out. But it took out, this is almost like a Chapman wave. Uh, this is the inverted falling axe formation or the dreaded H right here. So that just said to me, if the regionals couldn't start to catch up to the XLF, that whole financial sector, and I was very worried about it. That's why I made a very tight stop. I mean, 2% or 1% or 1.5%. I, I just, I'm taking no chances. We can always come back with higher highs and higher lows. But an instant, a, a restart says it doesn't take out 45.67. And when it does work, it is really powerful to the upside. So that's, we'll see what happens with 45.67. You go to 45.66, you negated the whole thing. You have to start fresh right now. It should be building energy for a move to the upside, and it's, it really isn't. So if you look at the TLT, oh, I never finished these. The TLT is trading uh, down 41 cents. Oh, my, I got to do the backwards thing. So here we go. This is. The TLT has taken out the left side low, and the TBT, we spoke about this yesterday, has cycled up. It's it's really very strong. Oops, what did I do here? Why is that the D? Oh, because I said that was an F. Okay, this is a brand new A, B, C, D. All right, let's, let's look at it that way right there. And it's an leg C in the uh, weekly chart. You've got to be careful here. There's something not right. Now, the only thing that I can talk about is that it's rotational. And that's the reason why um, the reason why we're looking at the uh, – can I do this? Do I have time? Yes. So let me just do this. So with, within the context of the market itself, I just keep having to go back to the SMHs. Those SMHs are lost. They're just going – or they look like Bitcoin right now, going sideways, just not breaking up, not breaking down. But the longer it goes sideways, the greater the chance that that nine period moving average is going to tip down. But that's not good enough because, as I always said, the semis lead markets up and the semis lead markets down. And 239.14 was the 8th, uh, the 8th of March high. And we went all the way down to the 211, was it? 212.82 low on the 19th. And it's just been stalling. That's what I think you need to watch very closely because that, until the semis really start to break down, until you see 210 or 209 in the SMH, 
Um, there's residual strength, and that rotational residual strength is making this a very select rally. But the fact that the financials are starting to weaken, this weekend BRK. Uh, here we go. Yeah, BLK, Berkshire Hathaway down at 406. I'll be back. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right, that means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the live trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Let me go a little bit backwards here. Number one is the, the current E-mini has bounced a little bit off the low of the day. It's stuck at the 200 free moving average of 51.98. If by any chance... After today, it's now not yet 11. If by any chance after 1.15 this afternoon, the E-mini is trading above 52.12, that's a good sign, at least for the, for the S&P, not so much the Dow. Uh, but it better hold 51.80, it's at 51.97, 51.85 to 51.80 support. If it takes that out, that's going to be ugly. The other thing is I don't think I finished COF. So COF is is in a sell mode. It's in a sell signal right now. For 136 to 135, is at 138.75. That's your key support, 136, 135. Then the uh, other, uh, yes, oh, and most importantly, tomorrow, you know, you've got an opportunity to get live trading with uh, the one and only Larry Pesavento. It should be fabulous. Why? This particular market must be giving so many opportunities to for Larry's trading style um, it really, it, it's a treat to watch, and I, I've been in many of those sessions, and I'm always astounded at how almost sometimes to the penny, he picks the, 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 the place where you want to put your, your position on, 
And I, that's great to be able to have a technique to do that, which he'll discuss in great detail. Should be fabulous. So the other thing is I didn't get a chance to do the dollar and the dollar right now is trading up very sharply at 105.40. Just be careful. And gold, gold is holding. They separate. Gold is doing something differently. I think it's a commodity and um, a Middle East situation that we're looking at. So dollar very strong. Um, and I'm just saying, watch the SMHs. They're the clues. If the SMHs start to break down, then the market will will, will go with it. But if the actual the SMH is rallying a little bit today, they're trading at, if I can find it, 223. If they get to 234.50, I think that'll help the market. Wow, you don't want to see them down a point and a half to two points. That'll be negative. Have a great day. Check out my opening call. See you tomorrow.